20% of small businesses fail within their first year. In the next 10 minutes, I'll be sharing with you an overlooked resource that can help you stay out of being in that 20%, right? Like and share this video if you get value from it. Feel free to say where you're joining in as you're joining in. Hi, I'm Dr. P. Hi, y'all. Thanks so much for joining me. Like I said at the beginning, 20% of small businesses fail within their first year. When I read that, I was like, whoa, oh my goodness. Because here's the flip side, though. It also means that 80% survive. So don't panic too much like I did at first, right? Because we always tend to focus so much on the negative, like, oh my God, I'm going to be in that 20% that fail. But focus on the fact that it means 80% survive. I got that statistic from reading an article that was published on Fundera's website. And this article was published about 10 days ago. So look out for me, uh, um, for me sharing it on my wall for my page because um, it really has a lot of useful information that goes a little too far beyond the scope of this video. But for some of you who like to read, you know, the latest and greatest of statistics and it talks about different industries, you can look into that article. Like I said, I'll post the link to the article on the on my business page, right? But get, getting back to this thing, 20% of small businesses fail within their first year. And I was like, oh my goodness, I really don't want to be in that 20%. But then it dawned on me about two years ago when I decided to start a business, right? I actually was in that 20% because I started a business and I thought I was doing all this different work in this business, but it turns out I really wasn't doing as much as I thought because it wasn't successful. It wasn't being successful. So as I was reading on in Fundera's article, it went on to talk about the reasons why small businesses fail. And by the way, they also mentioned the fact that 70% of small businesses make it to their second year. Then by their fifth year, only about 50% of small businesses make it that far. And even smaller, 30% make it to their 10th year. So those are some really startling numbers that really got me to thinking like, okay, how am I going to survive to make it to year 10? Because I want to be in that 30% that makes it to 10 years. You know, I don't know about you, but I really want to be in that 10%. So here, sorry, that 3%, sorry, that make it to 10 years. So when I was reading this article, I was like, okay, let's see what are some of the reasons why um, they're saying that so many small businesses fail. Because as an entrepreneur, that's what you're doing. You are starting a small business. So I wanted to see why they fail. And as I went through the reasons that were listed, I was like, see, this, these are the things that I've been seeing as well as I work with others, you know, as I'm growing my business. And the, the small businesses fail because of a lack of having a business model, right? They, they fail because they don't have a business model. And a business model includes, you know, your goals, your objectives, your vision, your mission, your values, your reasons for why you're having that business. That's one of the reasons why small businesses fail. That's one of the reasons why entrepreneurs fail to grow their business, for not having that map, you know, that pathway, that business model. Another reason would be your budget because you spend money on all these different things that you don't necessarily need, but you're just spending money without really having a plan in mind. So you need to be having a budget. Thought that was the only reason? No, there are more. The other reasons why small businesses fail is because sometimes, especially if you're growing from the ground up and you're designing your own business, your business is failing because you haven't really done your market research. So you're not really looking at your target. You're not hitting your target market. So that's another reason why they can fail. And we're going on to list some other reasons I saw in that article that I was like, okay, I know I've shared about these things as I've been doing some lives before and even on my business page, right? So you could go check out some of my previous videos on, you know, things like having a business plan for sure. Having an action plan is what you'll see it under. Another reason why they fail is for lack of marketing or poor marketing because oftentimes people don't really understand what marketing is about and they might go into social media marketing and just throw all this money at all these different ads and they're on Facebook, they're on LinkedIn, they're on Google, wherever they go and they're just throwing money at all these ads and then before you know it, you've used all your financial resources at these ads that aren't getting you anywhere. So that's another reason why small businesses fail. So as I'm going through this, this list of the reasons why they fail, it really got me to thinking about why businesses succeed. So businesses that succeed are the ones that have a business model, are the ones that have a budget, 
are the ones that have a social media marketing plan or overall marketing plan. And if you have a team and you have a business where you're building up that team, your business is going to survive because you have what needs to be in place to support that team, to not just recruit them into your business, but to give them the skills that they need so that they can be successful, right? So you see how I flipped it from all the negatives. Now we're looking at the positives here for what is needed for our business to succeed. So these are all great things that you need to know. You also need to know your target market as well, right? So these are things that you need to know. You have to have that strategy. You have to have these things in place. You know, you have to have your, your plan. You have to be able to support your team and know your product and customer service. Don't forget customer service because you need to have some good customer service as well. Because if you're reaching out to individuals and you're asking them questions and they're giving you back information, you have to keep that dialogue open so you can continue to build those relationships to grow your team. So all of that sounds great, right? And it might even be a little overwhelming for, for some of you. But here's the thing though. Those are all well and good, but there's still something else that I believe is missing from that list. You know, there is one thing at the core, at the heart of all these things that was missing from that list. And it got me to thinking about training I went to recently where you're looking at that leadership ladder, right? And in that leadership ladder there, the whole thing is to get to your goal, whatever is your goal. But at the base of this ladder, at the core of a business, there's one thing at the core of a business, at the core of your business. And that one thing is you because your, your business cannot succeed without you. You're the one who sat down and decided you wanted to have this business. You're the one who came up for the idea for the business. So here's the thing. In order to have a business model, you have to be taking action to create that business model. In order to have a customer services plan, you have to be there to create that customer services plan. In order to have a social media marketing plan or overall marketing strategy, you have to be there to actually create those things. So at the base of a, ladder, a leadership ladder, at the core of a business's success is you. It is your business. You started it for a reason. So if you started it for a reason, then you need to be putting in the work so that your business can be successful because your business starts with you. You have to invest in you. Now I ain't talking about go there and buy all these different courses and sign up for all these different workshops and sit down in front of your computer for hours and hours and hours taking all this information in. I mean, those things can be helpful, but if you don't take action on what you're actually learning, then you're just throwing away your money. Because remember, one of the reasons businesses fail is because of terrible spending, not having a budget. So don't go out there and just sit and take in all these different courses and not take action. Because there's nothing more frustrating than to helping somebody find a solution and they're, they're working with you and then you don't take that action. Remember, this is your business. You decided you wanted to be an entrepreneur. You're the one who decided you wanted to have your own business. So don't be part of that 20% that fails in their first year. Don't be part of the 30% that fails within their second year. Don't be, you know, don't be part of the 70% that don't make it to their 10th year. You are at the core of your business. So you need to invest in you. You need to invest in um, developing your skills because as you develop your skills, that's going to help you with the structure for your business. It will because we, we all lack skills in certain areas, but we also have strengths. So we maximize on our strengths and we look to the areas where we're weakest in and we build up those skills. Then those skills help you with designing some structure for your business. Because remember, we're talking about business plan, right? business model. So then you design that structure for your business. Then you also have to implement those things, right? Because you want to actually have a functioning working business because you could sit and you could write down all these things on paper, but if you never actually put anything into action, then you're not going to see results. Because if you've been following me, you know, I'm very big on solutions, actions, results. You find a solution, you have to put it into action. Notice I'm saying you have to put it into action so that you can get the results that you want because it's not me finding the solution and I'm putting it into action for you because guess what? It won't work for me, but it ain't gonna work for you because I'm the one who actually put in the work. I'm the one who did the action, not you. So then I'm the one benefiting from it. So that's why I really want you guys to understand you are crucial to your business's success. 
you want to make it out of that first year, you got to put in the work for you. This business can't be on the side, somebody developing a little hobby. If you really want to book, um, to take it off the ground, you need to invest in you. You need to put in the time, the energy, the effort, you know, look at scheduling that time for yourself so that you can put in the necessary action so your business can grow so that you can get those results that you wanted when you started your business in the first place. So got value from this. If you got value from this, I should say, feel free to like and share this video. And thank you so much for joining me. Remember y'all, solutions, actions, results. Thanks again. Bye.